Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Problem of the Week asks you to find the total area enclosed by the given circle and uh, square we have here. Given only that the area of the circle, so the area of the circle is going to be equal to 25 pi units squared. So we're given only the area of the circle, and we need to find the total area enclosed by the circle plus the square. And we keep in mind that that's excluding this part over here. So how are we going to do this? So first of all, the way we're going to start this problem is we're going to go ahead and divide. We're going to draw a bisector just like this from each corner, from each vertex of the triangle, over to the other side, just like so. Okay, so now we can exploit the fact that we know the radius of the circle in order to find the length of each of these sides of the triangle. Because we're going to need to find each side of the triangle so that we can find the area of the square over here. Because we already know the area of the circle. And then later we're going to need that to help us find this area of this little sector over here. But okay, so we know that the radius of the circle is going to be 5 because the area is 25 um, pi units squared. So we know that the area, or the, excuse me, the... Um, the radius of the circle is going to be 5 because the area of a circle is given by uh, pi r squared. So area equals pi r squared. So we know that the radius is going to be the square root of 25, which is just 5. So we know that um, the radius is going to be this length here. So we have r, r. Each one of these is split up into the radius. So the radius is going to be these center uh, lines here. And so we're going to kind of blow up one of these little triangles to see how we can um, solve for th this side length here. So we're going to go ahead and label. If we want this entire side length here, we can call this A, so the entire length of the side of the equilateral triangle. So each of these little sides over here is just going to be that in half, so A over 2. And we can just go ahead and call this, because we're going to use this uh, length here, we can just call that B. So we know that each one of these triangles here is going to go ahead and be a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay. So we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And we know that the, the bottom of one of these legs here is going to be A over 2, and the other leg is going to be B. So we have A over 2 here, B here, and we know that the hypotenuse is going to be R, which is equal to 5. Okay, so now we can solve for... Uh, B and A over 2 all at once here using, so we know this is, uh, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And this is my artist's rendition, but this would be the 30 degree angle and this would be the 60 degree angle here. So we know that based on our knowledge of the unit circle or using our calculator, we, we know that the sine of 30 degrees, so the sine of this angle here is going to be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, so B over 5. And we know that sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. So we know that 1 half is equal to b over 5. And alternatively, multiplying both sides by 5, b is equal to 5 over 2. So now we can use a Pythagorean theorem to solve for a over 2 and actually just a. So we know that uh, this, we can use this now that we know that b is 5 over 2. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that 5 squared is equal to 5 over 2 squared. So the sum of the squares of both sides plus a over 2 quantity squared. So we're just going to simplify this out here. So 5 squared is 25. 5 over 2 squared is 25 over 4, plus a squared over 4, just dis distributing the square to the numerator and the denominator. So we can, we're going to go ahead and solve for a now. So we might as well combine this over here. So we have 25. So 25 is equal to 100 over 4, just multiplying top and bottom by 4. And 100 minus 25 is going to be 75 over 4 is equal to a squared over 4. Multiply both sides by 4, and the 4s just cancel out. And we're left with a squared is equal to 75. So we know that a is equal to the square root of 75, which simplifies to, because we know that 75 is equal to 25 times 3, we can simplify this to 5 root 3. So we have just solved for a, not even a over 2. We, we solve for the entirety of a. Okay, so now we can find the area of the triangle, and we can find the area of the square, and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to solve for the area of each of these little sectors over here because we're going to need to subtract it off. Because when we add, we can't just add the area of the circle plus the area of the square because we'd be double counting this section here. 
So we have to find the area of that section and then subtract it off from our total. So we know, okay, so I'll write down here, then we know that A is equal to 5 root 3. 5 root 3. Okay, perfect. So now, we might as well solve for, um, we might as well solve for the area of the square probably here because it's, I mean, it's going to be fairly simple. So the area of the square, we know that each side is equal to, has length A, so it's equal to 5 root 3. So we know that the area of the square, so the area of the square is going to be equal to 5 root 3 squared, which is again going to be 75. So we know that this whole square here has area 75, and we know that the circle has area 25 pi. So now we're just going to solve for the, each of these sectors here. So we know that the area of the entire circle is equal to 25 pi units squared. So we know that um, 25 pi, uh, so actually we're going to go ahead and, first of all, before we even do anything, we should solve for the area of the triangle so that we can subtract off the area of the triangle from the area of the entire circle and divide everything by 3. So we'll just call this a sub t for the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. So 1 half. And the base is length, so the base is length um, a, so the base is going to be length 5 root 3. And the height is going to be length, so if you, if you can see this here, this is length r plus b. So r plus b, so that's going to be 5 plus 5 halves, because we found that b is equal to 5 halves. So just simplify this here, so 5 root 3. And this is going to be 15 halves. And this is going to be equal to, um, we have here, 5 make sure I'm doing the arithmetic right here. Great, so this is going to be equal to uh, 75 root 3 all over 4. So this is the area of the, this is the area of the equilateral triangle that's described inside um, of our circle there. So now we can go ahead and solve for the area of, when you find the area of this like area, this portion here inside of the circle that's not included in the triangle. So we know that that's the area of the circle minus the area of the triangle. So we know that's 25 pi minus 75 root 3 over 4. So that's going to be equal to uh, 100 pi minus 75 root 3 all over 4. And because there are three of those sectors, we're just going to go ahead and divide that entire answer by 3 for the area of each individual sector. So we divide that by 3. Divide that by 3. And in fact, instead of rewriting this. So this entire expression divided by 3 is just going to be equal to multiplying the denominator by 3. So we have 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. So in the denominator, we're going to have 12 here. So that's the area of this little sector here. So the final step, the final step is going to be to add together all of our areas and then subtract off that little sector area that we found before to find the area of the entire figure without double counting that sector. Okay, so we want the area of the entire thing, so the area of the circle, so 25 pi, plus the area of the square, which is 75, minus the area of this individual sector, which is 100 pi, just copying minus 75 root 3 all over 12. And finally, this is going to be equal to approximately, you could just leave your answer as this, but to check to make sure the answer kind of makes sense logically that our number isn't too big or too small, um, that we find that this is equal to approximately 138.185 units squared, which makes sense, all things considered, given that the area of the original triangle is 25 pi. Um, this number would, would make sense logically. So you could have kind of circumvented this entire uh, long procedure about using the uh, using geometry and the unit circle here, if you just notice that if we, with, if we draw these bisectors here, the length of this is going to be, each of these lengths is going to be r over 2. So that would, be a way, that would have been a way of simplifying it, but if you don't notice that or if you're not quite sure if that's the case, doing this, doing this method would have been um, a way to find the same answer, just a little bit longer route. So that's this week's problem of the week. So for more problems of the week, you can click on our playlist here. To subscribe to us, you can click here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, you can click this link here. Thank you for watching.